If it doesn't stop raining, I may turn into a mushroom myself. Day 33, um, we got a late start this morning coming out of Standing Bear Farm. We stayed the night at the farm and we um, had some pizza and some beer, which was awesome. Built a little campfire, sat around the campfire with Plantley and Mr. Miyagi um, and another hiker um, that was traveling solo. Star, I think his name was. Um, anyway, um, Insight and Care Bear had to go into town this morning to pick up some supplies, um, which was 45 minutes away, so they were shuttled in um, to town to do that. And I had a relaxing morning, um, just kind of sat around, um, tried to post some videos and photos. Wi-Fi was weak, so not much got posted. Um, but anyway, packed up my stuff. When they got back, we hit the road, but it was afternoon. Um, so we were really just getting started here. But we're taking a few uh, short mile days this week um, into Hot Springs. We're gonna um, spread it out a little bit and keep our miles low. Care Bear's feet has been hurting her, so we're hoping the low miles will, will help with that. Who put this in the middle of the trail? As if it's not hard enough going uphill. There's this. Okay, so definitely a really tough day on trail today. Um, we only had 6.9 miles to the sh get to the first shelter, but it was four miles completely uphill, relentlessly uphill, um, I think. We just made it to the top, or we might have just a little further to go, but we're close. And then we have a good two and a half mile down to the shelter. So um, it'll be kind of a late day when we roll in because we get such a late start. But there is Miyagi and Care Bear and Insight and Plantley is behind me here. <laughs> what is it? The humming sound up there. Oh yeah. It's uh, I'm out there. It's for air traffic control. Really? Whatever, whatever it is, it's for air traffic Mr. Miyagi are just getting ready to hit the trail. Care Bear and Insight just left and headed up the trail. And I'm going to be right behind them. It's a pretty good campsite. However, the shelter was a little warped. <laughs> yeah, let's see. This was the shelter. It kind of uh, warped in, so I was sliding down all night. Didn't get the best night's sleep, but well, that's part of it, I guess. In your tent. Uh huh. It actually helped it dry. I gotta start setting up my tent.
Adams and Sight and Care Bear. We are about 1.3 from the top of Matt's patch. And I don't know, the hope was to camp there tonight, but it's supposed to be raining, so. Hey, hey guys, 1.3 away. 1.3 away. Uh, not so lucky. <laughs> we came down to Max Patch Road and trail magic here. Somebody left some sodas, cans of soda. Mm, I don't think this was left for us. Yeah, that is whiskey. Very rare scotch whiskey. Unfortunately, it's not full. We're gonna fill our water bottles up before we head up to Max Patch. A little water source. Leading up to Max Patch, and we just came up here to this clearing. And the sun is shining on us, and this is our view. Care Bear. Looks like we're going up there on top of that grassy hill. Coming up the top. How's it going? Oh, pretty awesome, huh? Tunnel of trees. Super cool. I mean, Max Patch and then the Tunnel of Trees. What more could a girl ask for? Really, really cool and it hasn't rained on us yet so that is a blessing because the fascia goes around all the surfaces of the a little bit of camp life here so insights making a fire so for us <laughs> Plantley's doing a little foot care. Yeah, man. Yeah, hoo hoo. Do something. Yep. Do something, something. Care Bear's contemplating which new air mattress she's getting. <laughs> <laughs> and scratching your bug bites. Scratch <laughs> I'm gonna go hang my bear bag.
just hit the trail. Um, Care Bear and Insight are ahead of me again, and Plantly and Miyagi are still at camp enjoying breakfast, so I am sandwiched in between the two of them. Um, but this is really cool. Just saw these amazing mushrooms on this tree. There are so many mushrooms out here, and it is not surprising because it is so wet on this trail. So uh, if it doesn't stop raining, I may turn into a mushroom myself. This is pretty nice. This is the trail from where I came. It's really peaceful. Rhododendrons are looming here. And down below is the stream. the recorders picking that up but it's beautiful walking along here listening to the water and the birds chirp the Sun is peeking in and out it's a beautiful morning magical mushroom forest. I'm going to stop here and get some water. Fill my water bottle. This little stream. More mushrooms over there. is trying to find the perfect tree to hang my bear bag. <laughs> because they're tall and skinny and they don't have a lot of limbs. Yeah. That's why. Hey, there's somebody's shoes up there. Did you see that? Somebody's shoes up oh there in God. the tree. <laughs> way up there. Yeah. Uh, that's hilarious. That is. <laughs> Doing a little camp cooking. What's for dinner tonight, Insight? I'm having chicken flavored ramen noodles. Well, one of my favorites out here. <laughs> and Care Bear's having pasta primavera. Yum, that sounds delicious. And Plantly, what are you two having? We're having uh, lasagna and meat sauce with, with mashed potatoes. Delicious. And I am having ramen too. Right here in my pot. Yeah, there's the ramen. 